Hey guys, Professor Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is on the top best accessories for the inside of your trucks or cars. This is just everything that you need for just like daily driving in your car or truck. Came up with a couple of things that um, I think would be necessary and a necessity for everyday driving and just having a truck or a car in general. If you have any questions on what I've done to this truck, I have a link in the description of everything I've done to the truck so far. So you can actually go ahead and just purchase right off the link if you want to do something like this to yours. And if you're trying to make a little extra money online for your car mods, I do have some investment links in my portfolio or in the description down below where you can actually start investing and you can actually get a couple of free stocks. So it's like pretty much free money. So go ahead and check out those links. And if you go ahead and sign up, you, you do get like free stocks or free Bitcoin or anything like that. Let's jump right into the video. So I've done a lot of videos on the outside of the truck, on mods for the outside of the truck, but let's go ahead and jump right into the inside of the truck. So it doesn't have to be a truck, it can be anything, car, truck, anything like that. But the first thing we're gonna talk about is a phone mount. So this is my phone mount right here. It actually just comes right off like this. And you actually purchase one of these on Amazon, they're probably like 10 bucks. And you just stick it right into the air vent like this, and then you can actually uh, put your phone up to the, to the mount. So if you don't have any navigation in your car, um, if you wanna be able to see your phone, if you track things on your phone, if you are an Uber driver or anything like that, um, it's definitely good to have a phone mount. You can put it right up to here. So if somebody gives you a text or a call, you have it right here, you can see exactly what's going on. You're not trying to dig down here, look for your phone. The worst part is if you're driving and you have navigation on, you don't have to hold your phone up, you don't have to like keep looking at your phone to see where you're going. Put it right here, it's literally like your own navigation. Super cool thing, it's awesome to have these inside of your car or truck and i definitely recommend them especially if you have an older vehicle where you don't have a screen or you don't have apple carplay or android auto it's definitely something to use next thing we're going to talk about is going to be floor mats or floor guards so for example i have the husky Leonard floor mats and this is a very good necessity especially for trucks if you do a lot of um, work where you're in and out of the vehicle you have dirt you have mud it rains anything like that you don't want your carpets to get dirty you don't want it to smell or get stained like that so i do have a husky liner which is pretty much like a weather tech so it's any kind of weather it has these channels in here where you're able to drain out whatever is in the air like mud or water so the channels you guys should just pull them out hose them down decrease it throw them back in now for cars don't necessarily need to have actual like husky liners or weather techs but you can actually just get your own floor mats and it just like saves the carpet i have them in the back as well right here if i lift the seats up right here have them in the back so you can actually see that there's a lot of room back here and these these, uh, these were um i'd say about a hundred bucks but there are formats that are not as expensive as that but if you are looking to get these formats for your truck or your car i do have a link in the description that you can uh, go ahead and purchase these husky liners they're awesome i recommend them all right so number three we're going to talk about is going to be a jack and jack stand um so for example if you're on the street somewhere all of a sudden your tire gets into a flat you would have a jack right here. So it's always awesome to keep, make sure you just have a jack stand just to get your tires off the ground so you can go ahead and load a spare tire in because there's nothing worse than being stranded on the road trying to call a tow truck, which would cost you a couple hundred dollars when, when you can actually do this yourself, do it for free. Um, this probably, usually a lot of the vehicles will come with this, but if you don't have that, you can actually just pick it up on Amazon, pick it up from a local dealer or anything like that. They're probably like, I don't know, $50. And it'll definitely save you a lot of time and a lot of uh, money just to have this. And it's also just good to do when you're ready to ro rotate your tires or if you're ready to put new rims on, anything like that, you do have a jack at least to have for any kind of emergency. And coming on to this side right here, I do have jumper cables, which is also a big, big necessity when you're in a car. Like I said, nothing worse than being stranded on the side of the road or in a parking lot and you don't have any jumper cables. Now, when you're ready to jump your car, people are way more uh, likely to want to help you if you have your own jumper cables. So just make sure you have your own jumper cables and ask someone, hey, can I just use your car real quick to jump my car? Take like five minutes and you can get, uh, get your car started and take it back home or get it to a shop. You don't want to be stranded and like I said, have to get a tow truck to tow your car away. It costs you a lot of money and you have to wait a long time and if you got somewhere to be and you have jumper cables, people are way, way more likely to help you than to ask them for their own jumper cables and to use their car to jump. So those were two really good safety features. I'm gonna tell you another safety feature when it comes to being just being safe on the road. And it has to do with having a tactical, some kind of tactical accessory, like for example, flashlight, knife, pepper spray, concealed gun. It's very, very useful to have something safe. So for example, 
I do have a tactical flashlight, and this is actually one of the same flashlights that the police use. And if I open it up, this is my tactical flashlight, and it has one of these rivets right here, so I can actually punch out the window if I need to, uh, to get out. And when I turn it on, it does have this mode, and then it has a brighter mode, then it has a strobe mode. So it's really, really useful, especially if you have no light in your car at all. And then you would need a, to use a flashlight or something like that just to see what's going on. And it's very, very useful, <clears throat> just like a safety feature. You can actually use it as a weapon. You can use it to punch out the glass if your window is, if you're stuck somewhere and you're, you can't get out of the car. I've seen a lot of crazy people where they got into a lake and they tried to get out of the car but their car was obviously underwater and you cannot open the door when your car's underwater so to be able to break the glass and to get out of the car to save themselves so to be able to do that is uh, definitely something that could come in handy it's very very rare to have that but it's always better to be safe than sorry now i used to have a knife uh, but i don't have that anymore actually when i had the mustang someone broke into my car and stole everything it wasn't breaking i just like forgot to lock my car one time and someone just opened the door and took my charger and stuff like that but another good necessity obviously is to have a phone charger because having a phone charger means that if anywhere anytime your phone died and you need to get in contact with someone and you had no gps you could use your phone for gps it's good to have a charger at least in your car just so like i said if your phone were to die and you need to get in contact or you need a gps to get somewhere and you're lost you could have a phone charger very very necessity like to have a phone charger at least like here or just in your in your glove or in your center console anything like that also have pens pens is a really good thing to have especially if you're on a job site and you need to have be able to sign something or whatever it is you're depositing a bank or a check at the bank to have a pen to sign it to have coins as well uh, it's good to have money in your vehicle as well just in case you were to get a if you were to be somewhere and your car doesn't work and you need gas money or you need money for food, it's good to have uh, money in your vehicle. So keep a, keeping like at least $10 in your vehicle at all times definitely can help you out where your car doesn't work or places don't take car or all you have is cash and you need a couple dollars to fill up your vehicle just to get enough gas to get home. It's good to have that. And lastly, for the must-have interior accessories for your car or truck, is going to be a dash cam slash radar detector. Now, for example, I don't have a dash cam, but that will be in there soon. But what a dash cam is, is basically it's on the vehicle. It's like a camera that uh, shoots from the front and the back. It's very, very nice to have, especially if you get into a car accident, because you have the proof, you have the evidence. It's not their word versus your word. You have exactly what happened. You have it on footage, you have it on camera. And if somebody were to break into your car, you have it on camera. So it's very, very useful to have something where you can look back at footage to see what actually happened. There's been a lot, a lot of crazy things out there. There's crazy people out there and to have a dash cam to be able to see what exactly what happened and you just save yourself a headache, save yourself time, save yourself money and you're able to use your word over their word because you have actual footage, you have a legitimate response and legitimate evidence to support your claim. And then the radar detector, this is not really a must but it's actually something that I'm going to get as well where basically you're, it would plug, plug into a 12 volt outlet and it would hang up to the windshield and basically what it would do is it could read when a police is shooting their radar in the area or there's a police in the area um, just to save you like let's say if you're speeding for example and there's there's a cop with their uh, radar to gun out it'll be able to detect that and let you know it starts beeping which you know slow down because there's a cop around there's police around so it really comes in handy when you're able to save yourself from getting a ticket or or you're getting stopped by the police. Now in Florida, it is legal to have radar detectors, but you have to check with your state because not all states uh, allow radar detectors. Do your research on what states allow that. Florida is okay to have radar detector. It's not against the law and you can definitely have it and recommend them for all vehicles. All right, so there you guys go. That was some of the car accessories that I came up with that'd be useful for any vehicle. It doesn't have to be a car or a truck. I feel like every vehicle can use these car accessories. If you guys found this video helpful, would you leave a like and a comment so that YouTube will share this with other people? Let me know if you have any of these accessories and also let me know what accessories you would like to be included in this video. I did know I missed a couple of accessories um, that I don't quite have, but these are probably the most essential that I feel is best for me. If you have any uh, suggestions, leave a comment down below on what you have in your vehicles. I'd love to hear from you and get back to you. But other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.